Well, the time is here. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold has arrived. I know a lot of people have probably, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people. I know some people probably already gotten theirs earlier today. Mine just arrived. It's like uh, close to 5 p.m. in the afternoon here in the good old state of Kentucky, but it's here. As you can see, I got the porcelain model. I usually try to get whatever the um, special color is that's not black. Like I got the, what was that one that had orange? It was like a creamsicle orange. Was that the Pixel 4, I think? That was it had the orange sickle. Anyway, the black phones, you know, anybody can get the black phones and people that love the black phones, that's fine. It's whatever you want, but I usually try to get something different. Nine times out of 10, here's the thing. I slap a case on it. <laughs> So it doesn't matter unless you're a person that just rocks it without any protection. I don't know why the color of the phone even matters. Um, but, you know, it's your money. So buy whatever you want. But here we have it. The box. Let's open it up. I'm surprised that they ship it with it already open. In the... Uh, unfolded I would have thought they would have shipped it uh, to help protect it a little more with it closed but we'll see here how it looks this could be a disaster I could open it and it could be shattered to pieces but let's hope not I've had pretty good luck with the pixel phones having said that I'll probably just jinx myself but here we go exciting you saw my other video uh, from a couple of weeks ago, you'll probably saw that I had um, the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Um, I have since returned that and decided to go with the fold. It's hard to tell on the camera how light this is. It kind of looks white when I'm looking through the viewfinder here, but it's not actually white. It's more of a, um, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe a, not really eggshell. I don't know what you call it. Kind of a, a light almond color, I guess. I don't know. Or French vanilla, maybe. If you know what that ice cream looks like, a French vanilla ice cream. And then the uh, accents and the metal parts are kind of, um, I don't know, kind of a muted gold, I guess. But anyway, that's porcelain, as they call it, as Google calls it. Flip it over. Before we open it, you can see what the crease looks like before the first fold. It's hard to get a view of it. You can see it a little bit there. Not much of a crease. And then here comes the first fold. Didn't hear any crunching. No shattering sound. Let's see if I can focus there. There's the bottom. Got your speaker, your SIM card there, of course your USB-C, I'm assuming that's microphone there also. Uh, on the side you have your volume rocker and power of course. Then on top you have your antennas, more speakers, your whatever it's called, MM wave antenna thing there I forget what it's called and then of course your cameras on the back kind of like the cameras I mean it doesn't go across like the uh, regular bar pixel phones like the 9 and 9 pros but I'm okay with that I like the look of it 
not too much of a bump. So let's open this back up. Yeah, not too bad. I don't see any, didn't increase the amount of the crease too much. So let's go ahead and power this baby up. Let's power it up with it closed first. See what happens. Yeah. Powered by Android. Are we gonna get the little Gemini symbol like I got on the Pixel Pro XL? Huh, I didn't see the Gemini symbol. Maybe it's not as integrated as it is on the uh, other phones. Uh, let's see, set up using another device. Right now we're gonna skip because I'm just trying to get into everything. And we're gonna skip all this too. If you have a SIM card inserted now, we're gonna set up offline. Yes. Yeah, that seems fine. That's not the right time, but we're gonna skip it anyway. Blah, 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 accept. Sure. Yep. I'm not setting up that. Skip. More, next. Getting your device ready, swipe to navigate, skip, swipe to go home, and we are in. Here you have it. I don't have my uh, Pixel 9 Pro XL anymore. As I said, I returned that one. So I can't hold it side by side, but this doesn't look much thicker than that. I want to say it may be like around the same size thickness. It's pretty thin either way. I mean, it's hard to really get a gauge of it uh, on camera, but it's pretty thin. So let's see how the inside looks. Uh, welcome. Open this baby up. Boom. I saw some on uh, Reddit where they were showing like it had some cracks in the screen. I'm gonna try to get a, a dark background here so I can tilt it and see. I'm not seeing any defects or anything. No scratch, anything looks like scratches or anything out of the ordinary. So, I guess I got lucky. Thank goodness. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, you're gonna have some that are bad in a batch. I mean, it's just part of any, any major release. I mean, you're just gonna have some that like slip through with some quality control and you just hope you're not one of the unfortunate ones that get one of those units, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Google's not the only one that's going to have that issue. I mean, as you know from past, there's been some bad iPhones that slipped through, some bad um, Samsung units, you know, the whole battery exploding thing that Samsung had years ago, of course, was one of their big ones, but and then the pixels, there was the whole blue screen issue, I think, with the pixel. Was that the 2XL, I think it was? They had the blue tint. Um, and then, like, the bend gate and all that with the Apple and other stuff here and there. But, yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. You just hope you're not one of the unlucky few to get a bad unit. But so far, I've been okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, is there a white background? Um, I guess I could turn this off. Um, it's not in here. I guess I have to go into settings. Do, do, do. Dark theme, turn off. There we go. 
Not seeing anything. Looks pretty good. Let me crank this brightness all the way up. See what we get here. Man, that looks good. Well, they say it is now. I really should have this information, but this is just kind of a quick unboxing. Like, literally just delivered this, and I just set up the camera. Old school style, nothing fancy here. Um, so I'm just, first little look here. Check out. Yeah, that's definitely brighter than the original fold, the first fold. I can already tell the difference in brightness. It's the other one I put it on max and it was like, you still, I mean, obviously on the screen right now, it's probably not showing what the true brightness looks like, but I can promise you it's definitely a lot better than the Pixel 1. Woo, loving it. All right, so that was it. I mean, I didn't want to have anything really specific to show. I just wanted to show the unboxing and just kind of, if anybody ordered the porcelain model, kind of give you a look at what it looks like. I actually did get a, hang on a second. Did get some little generic cases because I didn't order the Google cases in time because I was waiting until I got my uh, Google store credit to buy those with. So I just ordered some whatever I could find on Amazon that would get here in time. And this was one of them. I don't even know the brand. It's navy blue. It's got a little lip on it. Protect the screen. And then here's the back. It's got a little padding on it. And then like I said, it's navy blue. I don't know if you can really see it good, but I do like that it has the tempered glass here built into the front. But let's snap this on. Not bad. It'll do temporarily. It does have some um, tape on the front part here where I can peel and it'll help stick it better on the front. But I mean, it's, it's on here pretty good right now. It's not too bad. I mean, I'll hang on to this one. I think it was like 17 bucks. Um, I don't remember what the brand was. I don't have the box in front of me. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a super, super generic brand like 17 bucks Vigo is the name of this one of course made in China what is it shock resistant protective case rugged case scratch resistant shell impact cushion technology rugged protection friendly customer service oh, uh, we'll be the judge of that I don't know where Ping Lang Road Pingji Avenue, Longang District. That's a lot. But anyway, it'll do until I get my actual good case. Uh, I usually buy cases that have um, MagSafe on the back, it's just cause I also have my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I switch back and forth from time to time and I don't like switching out the magnetic holder in my car every time I switch back and forth. I know they do make some stickers, MagSafe stickers you can put on it. Um, 
but for now I'm just gonna rock this and then when I get my official Google case then maybe I'll get the MagSafe sticker I also got this one which is a I don't even know how to pronounce that Kai, Kai Zinkik another Amazon case this one's like a matte carbon fiber even though this one costs more it doesn't have the tempered glass in it like the other one so I don't even know if I'll use this one but this one the reason I got this um, carbon fiber one is because it does have MagSafe on it but I do like that it actually it's super thin thinner than the blue one and it covers the camera so it is pretty slick but I don't know if I will keep this one we'll see I'll mess around with both of them I am really liking this blue one though and the fact that it has the tempered glass even though it doesn't have the MagSafe so I may end up using that one and um, find a workaround for the MagSafe like I said the stickers or whatever but this one's nice too I like the little muted gold accents with the black carbon fiber and it's matte no fingerprints so that's another good thing and like I said it covers the camera so that's also nice so I don't know I may go with this one we'll see but anyway that's it uh, just a quick little nothing video mainly just to show it but I'm gonna get this reset and then set it up for real and mess around with it and I mean, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer for, answer them for you, I should say. And because um, I know some people are, their um, delivery dates pushed back end of September, some into October. So while you're sitting there waiting and still trying to decide if you want it while you're still on the waiting list to receive yours, uh, and you have questions about the phone then let me know and i'll try to answer them but until then i will talk to you all later peace